Hey guys and gals, what an incredibly great Sunday afternoon it is here in southern Oklahoma. I'm going to tell you what, this is just amazing. Um, God blessed Oklahoma with rain here in August. That's right, rain. You know, I looked at back to last year just to see what had happened. We had 1.1 inches in August, and we we're pretty thankful to get that, to be honest about it. But we got right at 2 inches of rain since it started raining about daylight this morning. You know, it started thundering and lightning a little bit, and I was looking at it. Shot a little video, as a matter of fact, right before daylight, and it was kind of um, kind of lightning, thunder rolling a little bit, and uh, and then it started raining, and it started raining. And uh, Chris and I got a little bit wet loading into the truck for church, uh, but we did go to church. Church was kind of light. The rain did scare a lot of people away today, but it was quite a bit of rain. And uh, But it rained about two inches, and uh, it had rained a, a couple tents yesterday, and a little rain, rain shower come by, a real pretty little rain shower. And uh, when I got back from Chicago from the Ace Hardware Show, uh, it had, I had two inches of rain in my gauge. So we got about 2.3 inches of rain. And uh, I think, like I said, my gauge is one gauge, one of my gauges is 1.9, the other one said 2.2. So let's just say we got two inches of rain here on this beautiful Sunday. And uh, some places in Oklahoma got nine inches. Nine inches of rain, that's right. They had flooding up around Norman and Moore, Oklahoma. And uh, so y'all were blessed with a little bit more wet stuff than you want. But it's absolutely fantastic here in Murray County to get it. Our grass is going to green back up real pretty. Our fields are going to start growing. We might be able to get another hay in. We are going to put some humus soil. I'm not going to be able to do that this week because I've got a really, really busy week schedule. But uh, be able to do that next week. We're going to rent a big spreader, a big eight-ton spreader, an atom spreader and, uh, that you drag behind the tractor. And we're going to put out a, a lot of humus oil on our, our hay meadows and some of our food plots and kind of watch those and see how they go. Uh, humus oil uh, that I've got in my tomato plants, I checked it uh, on Tuesday uh, uh, a few days ago. I looked at them, just looked at them, and then go out there and really prove them, but they're, they're looking good. Both sides are looking good now. The ones in humus soil are larger than the ones that are not in humus soil. The ones that were not in humus soil was really looking bad when I checked them last Tuesday right before I went to Chicago. And, uh, and they were really looking bad, but I gave them a good drink of water. I watered them up uh, pretty good, and, uh, and, then, uh, and then we did they get this rain. Of course, they are outside, so this rain got on them. So that was absolutely fantastic. But uh, they're looking good, so those tomato plants are looking good. It looks like that the humus soil is causing the tomato plants to grow quite a bit quicker, quite a bit larger, and uh, they didn't, even in all those 100-degree days. Now, we do have about another 12 or 14 or 15 days. I looked at 15-day forecast, and I think it's 100 degrees every day beginning, I think, tomorrow, beginning tomorrow. might have been beginning Tuesday, but we've got 100 degrees every day. Uh, I do have friends coming in. I've got uh, my buddy Larry Rinkin coming in from Alabama on a Wednesday evening or Wednesday night, and uh, we're going to fish here on Thursday. We've got a couple friends of his, uh, Jim, and uh, I think his son's name was, uh, I think, uh, Ken, but I'm not sure, uh, coming down from Kansas. I haven't met them, but I'm looking forward to meeting them. I've got lots and lots of friends in Kansas, some great, great friends in Kansas, as a matter of fact. Dennis Hamill and all of his family that I've hunted and fished with for, I guess, 30 or 40 years now, and uh, still talk to them all the time, still hunt and fish with them all the time. I go to Kansas. They come down here at the ranch. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna fish probably uh, probably maybe I might Larry might get here in time to fish an hour or two before dark on Wednesday and then we're gonna fish Thursday morning from daylight until until it gets too hot probably about the middle of the day or something like that. So we got a real busy week. Also, we'll be going to the Legends of the Outdoors um, uh, Legends of the Outdoors uh, banquet and uh, meet and greet. That that's on a Friday night. That's that uh, comes up this coming Friday night in Springfield, uh, uh, Springfield, Springfield, Missouri at the Wonders of Wildlife, the WOW uh, Museum. And uh, we've got the big ba the big uh, uh, banquet and the introduction, of the, uh, the induction of the new people into the Outdoor Legends Hall of Fame is Saturday, and I think that's open to the public. So if you want to go to that, if you're anywhere around Springfield, Missouri, besides that, you'll get to see and meet a lot of nice people and get uh, shake hands with, get your picture taken with, get autographs. And I believe my buddy Hank Parker's planning on being there. I believe the Night and Hale's gonna be there. Uh, Harold Knight and David Hale, I believe we're going to be there, and uh, I know Gary Mason will be there. Uh, it'll be a lot of a lot of people there. Of course, Chris and I'll be there. Chris and I are both in the Le Outdoor Legends Hall of Fame. Uh, that's not the Bass Fishing Hall of Fame. That's the Outdoor Legends Hall of Fame, and there's got lots and lots of great people in there, and uh, it's going to be a great deal. I think the event Saturday. Don't t take me to the bank on this, but I believe the day deal Saturday starts about nine o'clock in the morning ends about two o'clock in the afternoon. So it's a great, great event. You definitely want to go to that event. Uh, you can buy tickets uh, 
to go and have the meal and everything. So it's just a, a fantastic event. You're going to get to meet a lot of really, really good people. Uh, I haven't seen any flyers or anything on that, so I, I don't have a whole lot of information. I probably need a little bit more information than I have. But I know that Chris and I are going to go over there Friday, and I think it's a private meet and greet deal on a Friday evening. Then Saturday, next Saturday, uh, which what will that be? That'll be, what, about the 17th or something like that? Today seems like about the 11th or 12th maybe, so uh, it's something about like that. But anyway, next uh, next Saturday in Springfield, uh, Missouri, at Johnny Morse's uh, Wonders of Wildlife Museum. Wonders of Wildlife Museum, that big banquet there will be there, the legends of the outdoors. Chris and I will both be there, so those of y'all want to visit Chris, they have a, a chance to do that as well. But uh, we've, uh, so we got a real busy week planned this week. Uh, this past week just came and went real fast. I'm telling you, it's amazing. Uh, I've said forever, life's like a roll of toilet paper. Uh, the closer you get to the end, the faster it goes. <laughs> and weeks just fly by right now. It doesn't seem to matter what I'm doing. I think I've got a nice leisurely uh, play, uh, time here at the ranch, and I might have a day or two to just kind of relax, run around the ranch, and get a lot of work done, and maybe even get to go out and go fishing a little bit. And then all of a sudden, it's the week's over. I mean, the week's over. And, and a lot of the stuff that I thought I might be able to get to do, I don't get to do. But um, we got a, a real real busy week planned this week right here. And uh, then the following week, we're probably going to uh, put some of that humus oil out. It creates water in the ground. It's just a, an amazing product. I'm so proud to be involved in it. It's going to be a world-changing product. Absolutely no doubt about that. This week, uh, the big event this week was going to Chicago. And uh, going to Chicago to, to McCormick Center for the big giant... 100th anniversary of Ace Hardware. 100th anniversary. Now, we all grew up with Ace Hardware stores just about everywhere we are. I don't know. There's five or 6,000 of them around the country. The show was humongous, humongous, gigantic. Over 20,000 people there at that show. I was there working for Shell Rotella and Shell Pennzoil. Uh, Ace Hardware obviously sells a lot of Shell Pennzoil, uh, and they sell a lot of Shell Rotella as well. And I was there uh, working in that booth. We, we visited with a lot of people. We signed a lot of autographs, took a lot of pictures, and just had a lot of fun up there. And, and that was just a great trip. I, I enjoyed that a lot. I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, my daughter Sherry and Jack, they took off this week and went to uh, Toronto, went to a baseball game or two up there in Toronto, and then came back and took some tours and visited Niagara Falls, one of the great places that we have here in the United States, uh, one of the kind of wonders of the world in, in Niagara Falls there in uh, Buffalo, New York. So they had a great week as well. And... Uh, but the Ace Hardware, when you think about it, 100 years, that company's been, been going and serving people for 100 years. And uh, you can buy a lot of the great Shell products there as well as just about everything you want uh, at Shell. They don't sell hunting and fishing gear. You still need to be going to Bass Pro Shop and Cabela's to buy all your hunting and fishing gear. But, uh, but boy, they have a lot of good stuff there at Shell. And, and uh, a lot of the products, a lot of the companies that we represent and work with were there. Kurt's Trailer Hitches was just right around the corner from me. My Fix a Flat people there that's got Fix a Flat and uh, the, the slime that we put in our tires to keep them from, from having a flat and uh, all of that great stuff. They were, they were right there close by it, so we visited with them. We visited with a lot of really, really good people there at that Ace Hardware show, and it was a lot of fun. And i got to tell you, too, here's something else. I was, I'm always kind of uh, anymore a little bit goosey about going to any big towns, and Chicago is one of the most dangerous big towns around, but downtown Chicago was just fantastic. It's beautiful landscaping and flowers in the middle of all the roads, and and uh, it was just absolutely fantastic, you know. They've uh, that uh, beautiful. Everything was clean and neat, and I stayed right downtown. And it was just a, it was a pleasant trip, a really pleasant trip. And I did work hard, didn't get much sleep, but 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 it, it was a, a really really pleasant trip. Uh, we do have some events coming up pretty soon, and we yeah, I just got word this week, and I just did a uh, a video or two on it that we'll be we'll be making some announcements here real quick on. But but uh, Shell, the people at Shell. Uh, are giving away a fishing trip with me. That's right. Uh, they're giving away a fishing trip with me. And they're giving away through their Pennzoil brand, Pennzoil Marine Oil. Pennzoil Marine Oil. Yeah, they've got both two-stroke and four-stroke marine oil on the marketplace. And the way that you have a chance to win that trip is you go to Advanced Auto Parts. You can buy either in the store or online. You buy five quarts of Pennzoil Marine Oil. Either two cycle or four cycle, either one. If your engines, you got some of the older engines or some of the engines, it's two cycle, uh, two stroke engines. You can uh, you can you can buy five quarts of that, or if you buy five quarts of four stroke oil. Now all of our new Mercury motors, the last five years I guess or six years or so, have all been four stroke engines, and that's all that Mercury builds. So it doesn't matter whichever your engines are two cycle or four stroke. Uh, buy five quarts of Pennzoil, and then you can go to Pennzoil.com I think slash VIP fish to enter that contest. And you, that, that contest is open from uh, now until October 9, 
So that's about a couple of months, a couple of months that you've got to do that. And uh, I don't know if you get an entry fee every time you go in and buy five quarts or every time you buy five quarts online. I don't really know. Some of you that fish a lot, particularly if you got still got those two-cycle engines, you've been going through a lot of oil. So five quarts of oil last year, very long if you're fishing here in uh, late August and September and early October. But uh, the contest runs till October 9th, so uh, five quarts of uh, Pennzoil marine oil, absolutely fantastic marine oil. Five quarts of marine oil, uh, and then you can go to uh, pennzoil.com slash VIP fish, and uh, we'll, we'll put some of that up on some stuff, and, and uh, you can check with Shell at Shell.com or JimmyHouston.com. We'll have some information up about how you can enter to win that fishing trip. They didn't say where we'd be fishing, but my choice is right here behind me. My fish is, choice is right here behind me. I guarantee you we'll catch a lot of fish and have fun. Hopefully, we'll get to do that fishing trip this fall. If not this fall, we'll get to do it next spring. Kind of depends on your schedule and my schedule if you win that trip, but it's a great, great opportunity to win a fishing trip uh, with Jimmy Houston and it's going to be fun to say and uh, they call it Jimmy Houston fishing experience and that's exactly what we'll have we'll, we'll have a ball we'll have a ball uh, we do have a couple church appearances coming up here pretty quick we got one down in uh, Noonan Georgia which I think is in the Atlanta area I think that comes up in a I think it's the second Saturday in September maybe so that's just right around the corner that's not far up and uh, uh, we've got one coming up in Sherman Texas First Baptist Church Sherman Texas uh, actually, that one in Sherman, Texas might be on the second Saturday. Uh, the one down in Noonan, Georgia might be a little bit late. It might be the first weekend in. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we will get all those dates out to you. But if you're around Sherman, Texas, we're going to be at First Baptist Church Sherman there, a big barbecue, uh, starting at 5 o'clock on a Saturday evening. <clears throat> I just don't remember the date on that. I, I think it, I want to think it may be like, I don't know, October 5. <laughs> I just pulled that day up thought just pumped into my feeble mind, but uh, but we will be at First Baptist Church, so plan on coming to that. It's big big men's event, and it's called an evening with Jimmy Houston, and it's uh, men and, and boys, and men and their sons, or fathers, or brothers, or next door neighbors, and a big giant men's event. It's going to be an awful lot of fun. The event is free. The event starts at seven o'clock, and it's absolutely free. Uh, I'll be there, and I'll definitely be there in time for the barbecue. That's for sure. Uh, barbecue is only 10 bucks a head, so that's cheaper than you can get just about anywhere. And you're going to get Texas barbecue out of it. So think about that. We'll put some more information up about that. I'll probably uh, uh, do a video and throw it up on here sometime pretty soon. It tells exactly when that is. And then we're going to be down in Noonan, Georgia. Like I said, uh, I want to thank. I want to think that might be on the 14th. That might be September 14th. And the reason I'm saying that is I think I am at Bomgars in. Ada, Oklahoma, that's right, just right down the road about 40 miles, Ada, Oklahoma, on Friday the 13th next month. And uh, I need to look at my next month cal calendar a little bit more so I can know, but I think Friday the 13th, I'm in Ada at Bomgar's store, so come on over there and visit us. And then I think uh, the next morning I fly to uh, Georgia, be at noon in Georgia uh, for that event there uh, on that Saturday. I think it starts maybe at 2 o'clock in the afternoon or something. It'll be a great event, great event, a lot of fun. So if you're around noon in Georgia, check with First Baptist Church, and you'll be able to check that out. If you're in Sherman, Texas, check with First Baptist Church, Sherman, Texas, and uh, you can find out the exact the exact date on that one there. And uh, I don't know, I just it all started running together in my mind, but it's going to be a lot of fun, going to be a lot of fun. Uh, guys and girls, when you go out there this week, think about, you know, our preacher, Chopper McCartney, had, had a great sermon this morning. We had about probably only 60% or maybe not even that much of the people we normally have because of all the heavy rains. That was going on right at church time. Uh, I ever, they had an umbrella team that was going out with umbrellas and helping people walk to their car. And of course, I was able to pull under the uh, the causeway there and and uh, and get Chris get out uh, in in the dry and went not raining and then went and parked my car and I had my own umbrella. So and the team came out to the take care of me in anyway with an umbrella. I said, "Got my own umbrella, guys." But uh, but teach, uh, uh, Chopper preached on one thing that that I talk about a lot in our, our, our morning daily devotionals. We do our Catch a Better Life devotionals and we post those at five o'clock every morning. If you're not on that channel, get on that channel. Your, your life will be blessed. God will favor you if you get on that channel because we start each, each devotional uh, each day with a scripture from the Word of God, a scripture from the Word of God. And God will bless you when you get in His Word for just a few minutes every day. And uh, then we have a devotional built around fishing and a fishing tip. So if you're not on Catch a Better Life channel, I know not a lot of you aren't because we got about 125,000 people on our Twin Eagle Ranch channel and only about 30,000 on, uh, on Catch a Better Life. But uh, whether you go to church, whether you're a believer or not, 
get over there and get involved with that Catch a Better Life channel and see if your life doesn't start getting better. Your life will start getting better. And everyone, all of us want a better life. I want a better life. You want a better life. If you're not having a perfect life already, you want a better life. And, and I imagine if you had a, better, a perfect life, you still want it to be better, <laughs> is what I kind of imagine. But anyway, Chopper was talked about encouraging people. And, uh, you know, I pray every day that I'd be a blessing to everyone I come in contact with. And, and I want to encourage people. I sometimes encourage them by just a smile. Sometimes you can encourage people just saying a kind word to them. Uh, I'm, I, I, I'm kind of crazy. People think I'm about half nuts, I think, at the, at the grocery store sometime. I stopped and bought some stuff at Walmart after church, and there was a lady checking out with a big old bag of groceries, probably $300 worth in this day and time. And, uh, but uh, she had a big old bottle of smart water. and She looked like a pretty intelligent lady. And so I just asked her, I said, hey, I said, does that water make you any smarter drinking that water? And she said, no, it really doesn't, Jimmy. She said, I just like the size of the bottle. <laughs> and uh, I said, well, I just thought maybe if it made you smarter, I might give it a try, go buy me a bottle of it. But uh, it said smart water is what it said on the bottle, so I don't know how in the world they can do that. Uh, I drank that Bang energy drink. I drank Bang energy drinks, and uh, I don't have a deal with them or anything. They don't give them to me free or anything. I buy them at our Jimmy Houston outdoor store. But... Uh, but it's supposed to have super creatine in it. I don't know what super creatine is, but I think it's something like what made Superman strong. But uh, but anyway, super creatine it was something else that made him strong, wasn't it? And something he had to stay away from, kryptonite, right? Yeah, don't, don't get close to any kryptonite. But, uh, but, but anyway, uh, it's supposed to help your brain, that super creatine is. And so I've been drinking that for quite a while. Can y'all tell? Huh? Can you tell? You can't tell. <laughs> That's what everybody tells me. They can't tell. But, uh, but anyway, I'm going I'm to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. It's kind of like Hank Parker in that row game. He just keeps trying, you know. But uh, but anyway, uh, 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 I don't even know what I was talking about. Well, I started rambling around about being at Walmart. But, uh, but, 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 you know, just little silly stuff like that. Just little silly stuff like that. And the lady, you know, she smiled back at me. It was very, very nice and pleasant. And I don't know uh, what she might be going through right now. Her life might be perfect or she might be having some problems and just being friendly and being nice and smiling to people, saying hello and meeting them and, uh, and uh, just any, anything in the world you can do. Sometimes just a kind word will change a person's entire day. So uh, make it a point when you get when you go out there this week running around to be friendly to everybody you come in contact with. Make it a, a point to, uh, uh, you know, if, you, if you're out on the highway and somebody's trying to get out of a big long line of cars, just stop and motion them through and let them go in front of you. And you might just change that person's whole day. In fact, he will probably pass that on. He doesn't know you from a man in the moon. And it's just somebody that was nice to let him get out in the traffic there instead of having to wait for another 10 or 15 cars to hog their way in there and make sure that car didn't get out. So uh, somebody comes around you and where a road near us, and I don't know how, where it is where you are, but here in Oklahoma, we've got a lot of construction going on. The highways, a lot of times you're in a, in a two lane, you come up and there's into a one lane. Instead of trying to move over there and the guy, and, and I know it kind of gets on your nerves a little bit. The people coming from behind you, you're in line like you're supposed to be, here comes somebody who passes about 30 cars and cuts right in front of you. And I know that bugs you sometimes, but you can be the person that just gives them a little room and lets, lets them pull in front of you. And then they might turn around and do that to somebody else because one of the things I've found out in life is when you're kind to people, it sort of causes them to be kind to somebody else. So the old deal about passing it on, you can pass on kindness. You can pass on being nice to people. You can pass on encouraging people. So kind of make it a point this week, guys and girls, to be an encourager. Be that person that says something nice to somebody, that pats them on the back. You might pat your preacher on the back. As a matter of fact, that's a good guy to pat on the back yourself. Sometimes, can I say, you have to even pat yourself on the back because nobody's patting you on the back. Nobody's being kind and encouraging to you. We all need encouragement. Lord knows. Lord knows. I need it every single day. So be an encourager. Show some kindness. Smile. Make somebody's day. You just might be the only person that said something kind and nice to that person all day long. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. We'll see you in Sherman, Texas. We'll see you in Noonan, Noonan Georgia. And we'll see you in Ada, Oklahoma. We'll see you somewhere out on the lake. And somebody's going to get to get in my boat with me and go fishing pretty soon. Buy you five quarts, Pennzoil Marine Oil, and go to at, at Advanced Auto Parts, either in the store or online. If you don't have one around close by, you can, you can get them online. And uh, then you go to Penzoil Marine, or Penzoil, I think maybe just Penzoil.com, and uh, slash VIP fish, and you win a fishing trip to go fishing with me. And I promise you, I promise you, I promise you we'll catch them. Guarantee we'll catch them. That's pretty good, isn't it? 
Now, I don't know what the guarantee is if we don't, but guys and girls, have you a great one out there. Fish lucky, and remember, I sure do love you.